day here at the HSBC BW Victor Hong Kong Open 2023 and uh, mixed doubles time now as uh, Malaysia's fourth seeds here Gosun Watts and Lai Shavon Jamie take on Hong Kong China's Tung Chun Man and Tsai Sweat Both bases in the final still up for grabs here. A little later on, we'll have the other semi final. Got uh, two and a half hours. We've only got through two matches so far here in the, the second session. Now, this one has garnered a lot of attention given that they're the only Hong Kong representatives left. Tang Chun Man and Tsai Sweat. Played some great stuff yesterday. Oh, listen to that. It's a great wall of noise. There are Malaysians in here as well. Fantastic. Well, they really played their part yesterday in the quarterfinal. We'll talk about that in just a short while. Good luck. So they've met seven Good luck. times Good luck. in this one. Thank you, Man and Tony Sweat. Oh, okay. Last time was at Thailand Black. Open okay. earlier this year. Great for you. Black for you. Great. And uh, the Hong Kong pair won that. Pretty convincingly. Which side? Oh, which side? This side. Who's the receiver? Yes, well, it's that convincing. That was in, uh, in June. Though, Go and Lie did win in. July of last year at the Singapore Open for their one and only victory. Thirty years of age, uh, Lai. Currently twelfth in the world, and uh, they have been as high as sixth. That was in June of 2018, though. They won uh, the bronze at this year's Asian Championships. They've also won a silver at the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Gorsen Watt is just uh, under six foot, 33 years of age now. And uh, together they have won two titles on the World Tour. That was 2018's German Open and that same year they won the Singapore Open as well. They haven't dropped a game yet in this tournament. Got some uh, good wins there. Actually, all very comfortable. Nothing over 33 minutes. That is uh, quite likely to change today in terms of uh, duration, depending on what we've seen so far. Tang Chun Man is uh, 28 years of age, 178 centimetres tall, almost the same height as uh, Gosun Wat. They're 23rd in the world, but they used to be second. It was also June of 2018, about the same time that their opponents were at their highest ranking. Tang Sweat is older at 31. 166 centimeters tall. World champs, by the way, they have won bronze twice at the 2018 one uh, version edition and in 2021. They've also won silver at the last Asian Games. Can they go one better this time round? Now, they've had a very different route to their opponents. They've gone to three in all three of their matches. What a match that was against Jiquel and Del Rue. Reza Roshan Omid from Iran is our umpire Kevin Ban from the US, the service judge.
So, quite a bit here to think about for both. And also how they cope at the ends. Time to quite like this far end where the drift is coming in from behind yesterday against Jaquel and Del Rue. Remind again, they are very much in control of the head to head. Yeah, the one victory against them has come just over a year ago. Malaysia. And on my left, Tang Chuman and Ji Ying shoot. They're not quite beating the peak of their powers, but they haven't played that much either as a pair. Tang and Tzu, so they're slowly getting back into it. Love all. This being their home tournament, this is uh, matching their best performance in 2016 when they got to the semis. Every point they score is going to be cheered on like that. Lie and go. Their best performance at the Hong Kong Open previously was also a semi final in 2019. That's the last time this tournament was played before this edition. Seven is over. One, two. Yeah, difficult to say who comes into this as the favourite in terms of rankings, Don Lai would be right up there. Three, one. But um, have they had a, a great year? Well, that's great between the players from Tan. They haven't reached quarter final Four, since the one. Asia Championships in April. That's not part of the World Tour. Swiss Open they did. They lost in the final. That's quarter final the of the Indonesia over. Masters and that's it. Two, this is four. only the second semi of the year so it's not been a fantastic year for them. They've just slipped a bit haven't they? Go and lie. Been some criticism of them and lies uh, addressed it before. So she was quite upset by it. Three, These four. Two also, uh, never announcing the engagement towards the end of last year. Start this one. Put away by. Lion there. Four all. Yeah, it's a good reaction. I was talking about this yesterday with Kirsty Gilmore. The, this pair here being left handed, they pull off shots Five, that. Four. My hand is we find very difficult, so you just gotta have that extra bit of thinking when you're playing against lefties. Oh that flick sir was uh, inch perfect. Six four A bit of a lead. Seven, four.
Sam is over. Five, so we uh, eight. talk about the Malaysians not having a, a fantastic year. What about the uh, Hong Kongers? That one falls just short from live. They had a semi-final at the Indonesia Open, quarter-final at the Thailand Open, and at the Australian Open, and they too have fallen short a number of times. Twelve times this year, they failed to make it past the first or second round. But they're not failing to make those kind of shots. They're building up a decent lead here, five points. Not enough Five. height on these shots. And you're going against the drift. You've got to put a little bit more in it. Otherwise, they will be put away in those sort of areas. Yeah. Nicely done from Lai again. Save the over. Yeah, I think six. Ten. Again, we've got to qualify Country Man and Tony Sweat. Uh, barely played in 2020. A little bit more in 2021. The same in 2022, but nowhere near what they should be playing. So that's where they're trying to get their ranking back up again. Outside chance for the, looking for the Olympics. And right now they are leading here in game one, 11-6. Eleven, six, play. Can they continue this momentum here, the Hong Kong pair? That's going to be out. Well, I did say they really did enjoy that far end yesterday in the quarterfinals. Need to challenge because it was in. Well, it's possession of points right now for the Hong Kong pair. 14-6. And uh, this is looking more and more difficult for the Malaysians already in the first game. interesting a little bit of slice on that from Tang Chun Man yesterday Kirsty Gilmore told me something which I had actually never known before but when you put a bit of slice as a left-hander you're going against the grain of a shuttle and that means it drops quicker now I never knew that and certainly has a bit of an effect there, a bit of an advantage for a left-hander it does go a little bit long and they can afford to Seven point or so. Five. Sorry, seven. Do not 15. have a great record in semi finals. They've only won eight out of 20, less than 50%. Though they did win the last one at the Swiss Open against Habeling and Peak. Yeah. 
Again, that's out. It's two now. Perhaps gone with the drift. 15, but prior to winning nine. that semi, they, they lost the previous three. It's actually the, the two Swiss Opens that sandwiched those losses, 2022 and 2023. So not a great record. The only time they've met a Hong Kong pair in the semi-finals of the World Tour event was at the Malaysia Masters 2018, and they lost to this very pair in 2018. And well, this has gone long again. Three of the last what, four or five points have gone long. For the Hong Kong pair. Well, that's been really well played. I tell you, Sweat. Getting a touch on that puncture man anyway it was going to be seven it. Over. Ten, 17. Oh. Yeah, but again, this seven is the problem now. For well, going live, they're just not able to put on. Any kind of run. Their best runs have both been three points, 18, which they 10. got at the start of this match to make it four all at that point, and they were trailing one four. Oh, is that going to be out? This is looking very good for the Hong Kongers now. 19, they've won less than they've won, who've lost more than they've won this year. 14 out of 29 matches coming into this. It's uh, just a slightly different story for the Malaysians who've won 18 out of 35. 11, Not a fantastic year 19. for either. And we've got nine game points here. Service over. 12, 20. That's a very good first game for Tung Chun Man and Tseung Sweat in the 20 games that have played against each other over the seven matches. 12 points is the joint third lowest score that Go and Lai have ever managed against Tung and Tseung. So they've got a lot of work to do here. They're trailing badly. They struggled on this end. Will they play much better on the other end with the Drift or wind behind them now. 21 12 to Tang and Tsi after game one.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Coach, you can your seat. Go. Second game, love all. Play. See if they can be uh, a much better performance here from the. Ball. Malaysians in second game, but it's uh, Hong Kongers have got off to a great start. Two long. Seven seven. One, two. Maintain that lead, Seven keep the off. pressure on. Three, two. Oh, he's done well here. Really good for the Hong Kong pair. Well, they were under a bit of pressure, the Hong Kong pair. And they withstood that to turn it into a winning point. They've not been able to use the conditions in their favour in terms of attacking Five, so far. Two. Going light. Great shot down the back end from Tang. Four, five. Is that falling just short? Tang, Tang Juma challenges call in. I thought that might have fallen just a bit short of the serve. Still waiting for 
for this review to reveal. It is out. It is a good challenge. Outside of the line. Set is over. Six, four, play. Seven is over. Five, six. Oh, he rose majestically there. Tung Chiu a great hang in the air. Just have a look at this. He comes across. He was in the air for a while, wasn't he? That's the ability to hang in there, literally and figuratively. Makes it in. We, uh, we're talking about the fact that the Six, eight. there wasn't too much sideways drift to be concerned about here. It was more the uh, drift from uh, coming from behind on the far side. Oh, great reactions. Tang gets up quickly. It in. Oh, a, a close one, actually, going to favour of the Hong Kong pair. Six. That was too close to turning sweat. This is already the feel Seven. turning out to be a Nine. better second game for the Malaysian pair. Oh, what a shot. He took that solo down and he guided it beautifully. A despairing dive from Go Sun Huat. Ten, seven. Actually, it wasn't Four. as low as I originally thought, but he still Four. played it brilliantly. Now, has he just hurt himself? Go Sun Huat in that dive, I think, seems to be okay. Thank you. Ten, seven. Still leads by three here. Put that away, won't he? Seven, seven, either one. And at the interval, the Hong Kong pair, the lead here, 11 7, having already taken the first game. 
11-6 in the first interval. So far away from that in the second. And they're looking pretty good here, aren't they? Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coaches, return your chairs. Coaches. Play it back on court. Eleven, seven. Play. Seven is over. Eight, eleven. Has a long, hard look at the bracket there, go. Seven's over. He's the best pleased with it, was he? 12, 8. Mark's tongues Nine, turned to look a bit frustrated. Well, they maintain their lead, and it's now up by four. Seven well, they kind of the defensive here. The, the uh, Malaysian pair. Oh, wonderful athleticism, but not at the third time of asking. Seven is over. Ten, fourteen. Line judge. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Back on board. Still leading by four here. Ten, fourteen. And 
the procession of points continues the good run here. Set it over. 15, 10. Looking at this, there's a real struggle now for the Malaysians. It's, it's tough, isn't it? They've not had the lead at all in this game. This is the biggest lead we've seen so far, six points. It's slipping away. Eight points 18, clear. Nicely well, done by Tzu Ying Sweat. Service over. 11, 18. Seven points now. How are they going to claw this back? We saw Anto Young come close. Again, wonderful defending, but not quite enough. 12. 18. They need a very special run so far, and Thank you. they haven't managed more than two points in a row in Point. this second game. And it's been a long, Nine, long two, time 12. since Tang Chun Man and Tse Ying Sweat were in a final. And to be able to do it at home, be even more special. And they've set up eight match points here. It's going to be emotional, it's going to be fantastic atmosphere in here. The 20. crowd. Match point. He's gonna go Twelve. off. Just wait for it. Yeah. First final in two years. They haven't won an event since 2019, even longer. But Tang Chun Man and Tse Ying Sweat have cruised through this in the semi-finals very very special to do it at home as well in front of this raucous crowd emotions shown all around and they were just too good for the malaysians unfortunately it's not going to be a happy malaysia day for gosun huat and like shavon jamie function monetary sweat were excellent throughout the, on the front foot and they really made it count the first game first match today that has ended in two looking to get themselves up back up the rankings again Tang Chun Man and Tseng Sweat from Hong Kong China beat the fourth seeds from Malaysia 21-12 21-12 they've done it in just 33 minutes Listen to that. It's been really good today from this crowd. They've waited for this. And up next, more treats, men's singles.
Kanta Nishimoto of Japan takes on Indonesia's second seed, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Welcome back to the Hong Kong Open 2023 men's singles.